Happy NaNoWriMo, you guys. I cannot believe that it is November 1st. Happy NaNoWriMo, you guys. I cannot believe that it is November 1st, 2021. This year has already been a roller coaster, and my family is in a very different place than we were this time last November. But it's funny because I feel like every NaNoWriMo Diaries now has to start with a cleaning montage <laughs> because it is so important for me personally to have that clean space so that I am ready to get to writing. But also... Like I said, our family's in a very different position this year. So we're not just cleaning up so that I can write. We're actually cleaning up so that we can move to a new Airbnb. So life is a bit chaotic, but I am still here for the NaNoWriMo Diaries. I'm still going to attempt 30 days of vlogs while I am writing 50,000 words. So welcome to the NaNoWriMo Diaries 2021. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about what I'm writing this year and what my plan is going to be, even though we are moving quite a bit this month. So I am going to be working this year on book 12 of my Shadow Demon Saga. So in October, just a few days ago, October 29th, I celebrated the 11 year anniversary of my first novel, Beautiful Demons. And I've actually been writing that series. I've had other things that I've written along the way, but I've been writing this series, The Shadow Demon Saga, since 2010. So I've put more than a decade of my life into it. And I am finally at the final book in the series. So you will just hear it referred to as book 12, because I have not yet revealed the title of this book to my fans. So I'm just going to call it book 12. Right now, I am assuming and working off of the fact that this book will most likely be 120,000 words or so. Book 11 just came out earlier this year in June, and it was about 115,000 words, a little bit more than that. So my books tend to get a little longer each time. And since this is the finale, I'm kind of aiming for that 100 to 120,000 words. I am not going to finish the entire rough draft during NaNoWriMo, but I would love to get the first 50,000 words on the page. Since the previous book came out earlier this summer, I have been reading back through some of the older books and I have been kind of writing down all of my notes of what I think is going to happen in this book. And I have to tell you though, as much as I had planned to put aside the past like four months or so to really get the plot down on this book, I am the most unprepared I have been for NaNoWriMo in like a very, very long time. So I have had obviously some crazy things happening in my life. If you are new to this channel, or if you were here for the NaNoWriMo Diaries last year and have not been keeping up with what's going on, our family is in a very different position than we were a year ago. And without going into all the details, a year ago, we had just signed a contract to build what we thought was going to be our dream house in the Charleston area. But due to all of the lumber costs going crazy and the market going crazy, the builder decided to cancel everybody's contract. So this affected like 15 families. And they said they would come back and let us know what the new price of the house was going to be. As 
as of yet, even though several months have passed, we do not still have a price on that dream house. So basically they are not going to sell it to us for what they originally said. And now they're raising the price. Everybody speculates it's going to be at least $120,000 price increase. But anyway, we had decided that we didn't want to buy a different house and we didn't want to rent a different house until we knew what was going on with that house or where our family really wanted to be. And to be honest, there were several signs and different things in our lives personally that we were thinking, maybe this is a sign from the universe that Charleston is not the place for our family. And so we took uh, what was like, when life hands you lemons, make lemonade. That's kind of what we decided to do. And so since we didn't have a school for our son anyway, since we couldn't move into that house, we decided to homeschool him and go on the road, not for just funsies family vacation, but actually to hopefully not only go on a little bit of an adventure for our family, but to find the place where we truly belong. And so we are traveling around different parts of the country until we find a place that feels like it is the right place for us. And I feel like some of our priorities have shifted a little bit during COVID that now we're really looking for a place where we can have a little bit more land for ourselves, but not be too far from a big city. So we're sort of exploring some of those options. And we have been in Florida for the first part of our trip because I was speaking at the NINC conference and I had some other things to do down here in Florida. But during this NaNoWriMo Diaries, you will see us move four times, including tomorrow will be our first move. And then we are moving every week for a little while as we start to head west. So as you can see, this is a very different situation than I have my office. We have our space. I have all my things and I have my plotting wall. None of that is going to be true for this year. So it's going to be interesting and it's going to be a challenge to see how well I can do keeping up with the word count on this book that is honestly probably going to be the most difficult book of my career, all while we are on the road and living out of suitcases. Okay, so another challenge of the NaNoWriMo Diaries is going to be that I do not have my own office space or my own dedicated space for recording. So I just realized that my son is in there clicking, clicking, clicking on something for a game. So if you've been hearing that, I apologize. They're also working outside on the landscaping. So here we go. I am in the bedroom by the bed in a corner and hopefully this will be a little bit more quiet. So I have taken my monthly view for the month of November. And I've said, okay, instead of having 30 days to write a full amount, which is the 1667 a day, I know that I'm going to have four days where I need a reduced word count. And I was trying to decide, did I want to completely take those days off or do I want to just do a reduced word count? Because I find that sometimes when I take those days off, plus I'm going to be vlogging and that's not going to make for as interesting of a vlog, like, hey, I got zero words done today. Um, although there might be some days like that throughout the month, I decided that I'm going to only write a thousand words on those four days. So I think I can do that in two sprints, which will only take me an hour to get done. So I'm going to right now tentatively say a thousand words a day on moving days. If I have to adjust, I will. Then I'm also taking Thanksgiving day off. I will still do a vlog, but I want to make sure that I spend that time with my kids, especially because they don't have as much consistency in their lives right now. So I want to make sure that we have those family holidays that we have together that we can really spend them together. So I'm not planning to write unless I'm so far behind on my word count that I have to. So I took the 30 days of November and the 50,000 words. And I said, okay, one day I'm not writing at all. So that takes me down to 29 days, four days. I'm only writing a thousand words. So that's 4,000 words. So I take the 50,000 minus 4,000, and that gives me 46,000 words remaining and 25 days remaining because I took those 29 days and subtracted those four days with the thousand words each. So that gives me 46,000 divided by 25 days. So that gives me a total of 1,840 words that I need every single day apart from those five days that are going to be a little bit different. I went through and I populated my Preptober word count tracker on my iPad to reflect those days. So I know that today as day one, I need to have 1,840 words. Tomorrow is a moving day, so I need a thousand words. So that should get me up to 2840 and so on and so on and so on. So I know that I have that plan 
Unfortunately, what I don't have fully planned to the extent that I want it is the novel itself. So today, day one for me is all about packing up so that we can go. We have been trying to keep our spaces organized as we've been moving to each Airbnb. And of course, it's different depending on if we're staying for a week or if we're staying for three weeks. But we've been trying to keep things organized. But this house has been different because we've been at Disney World. And it has been one of those things where we've been going from morning to late in the evening. And then I've also had to stay up writing my posts and social media posts for my spectacular from my fans and running giveaways and stuff. So it has been the kind of thing where I'm going from like six in the morning until midnight every single day. And keeping my space organized has just not been a priority, frankly. I also have not had time to sit down and create my meal plan. So I had the time to show you guys how to do it, but I haven't actually done it for myself. So I need to get that done today. I need to get my packing done. And what I did was I sat down last night and I made a list, what I call a gist list. This comes from uh Kaylin Nicholson, who I follow here on YouTube. So I wrote down all the things that I feel like I needed to do to really get my shit together. And so that's things like packing up the kids' rooms, getting the laundry done. I have to take some things out to be mailed, um, making sure that I clean up this place and get my NaNoWriMo stuff going. I also want to reset my planner for the month of November and get that done. And then I want to sit down with Plotter, which is a software. You guys, if you followed me last year, you know, I like to put up a big wall of easel paper and use that for a very visual planning system for myself. And I just can't do that in a random Airbnb and take it down and move it. And I know some of you have recommended like trifold boards and other things like that, even just poster board, but I've had problems with the sticky notes just coming off of it and getting lost and Evie pulls them off. So I'm going to try using Plotter instead. And I'm pretty excited about this because they just released one. I think it's still in beta, but it might be full on. I will link for it down below where you can use it on any device now instead of having to use it on a PC or a computer. You can now use it on your phone or your iPad because it's now a web-based application, which really, really excites me. So I can color code. I can have my plot lines and everything else. So I want to work on my plot. And this is going to be part of it is I am not only going to be writing every day, but I'm also going to be plotting as I go because this plot is, like I said, it's just not ready. I'm not ready, but it's November 1st. So ready or not, <laughs> here we go. Okay. So I have successfully gotten some things packed, but I need to get more done. But I think since Evie just went to sleep and I can't go in and get her room done, that I'm going to get these shoes organized behind me. And I'm going to get some of the um, stationery and planner type things that I have packed up. And then I am going to sit down and exchange my planner from my October to my November setup. And hopefully once that is done, I will have a bit more of a clean space. My writing probably isn't going to happen until a little bit later tonight. Okay, so as I started packing things up, I remembered that I have a bunch of stuff that I bought when I was trying to figure out what to wear to the NINC conference that I need to take back. And a couple things that I had bought for my Apple, my new MacBook Pro that I bought on the road. And I keep, we've carried it with us now to this house and I've been so busy with all the Disney trip stuff that I haven't had a chance to take it back. But we're moving so often in the next few weeks that I don't want to risk not getting it back in time to get my money back. So I need to just get it done. And 
I really don't want to do any extra walking right now because we have been walking so much. But you know what? Sometimes you have to just get it done. And it is now 545. I have not done my writing, but I did get the planning done. I got a lot of packing done. And now I'm going to take this out. Let me know if anybody else is like this where you're not even starting on day one until late in the evening. It's going to be 9 or 10 tonight before I have any time to sit and write, which sucks. But I'm going to use this car ride as an opportunity to think think through what the heck I'm writing today. So, all right, here we go. We've had dinner. I have packed up Evie's clothes and she is in the bath now for the next 10 minutes or so. So I am going to take the most out of this, make the most out of this time. And I'm going to work a little bit on my plotter setup and getting things entered in to figure out what I'm writing. So it is already 9 p.m. Still do not have any words, but I will. I will before bed. It's 10.38 p.m. I do not have any words done yet. So I am not going to end day one without some words. It has been a busy day. I knew that the beginning of NaNo would be a little bit rough with the move and Disney and everything else, but I am determined to build positive momentum. So let this be your encouragement. If you're sitting here watching this on day two and you're not, you haven't started writing yet, get some writing done, even if it's just one or two sprints, because it helps so much to start building up positive momentum instead of negative momentum. Because if you hit the end of week one and you've got severe negative momentum, you might not be able to win. You might not be able to catch up. So if you really want to give this 100%, these early days are the days to get your words in. So I'm not going to let this pass without words. So let's go. It is 12.45 and I did actually finish writing before midnight, but then I had some work that I needed to do. So I'm up way later than I intended. But the good news is I got 2,009 words. It took me two sprints because I went 25 minutes and I was in my Facebook writing sprints group and Lisa was running sprints and that really helped a lot. Mostly tonight, I just wrote brain dump stuff of the different bullet points that I want to hit in this since my plotting is not finished. So it's not fully rough draft words, but I'm still counting this towards nano and I'm not going to be disappointed in it because it's important things that are, you know, kind of like when people zero draft, it's like, writing out the outline of those scenes. So I'm counting those words and hopefully tomorrow I can finish up the stuff that I started tonight and actually start writing the very beginning of the book. But either way, progress has been made. I have updated my word count. I have donated a hundred dollars to NaNoWriMo. So if you get a chance, make sure to get those donations in and that's it for day one, you guys. <laughs> bleeding into day two. So hope you enjoyed this vlog. I hope that you will subscribe and give this a thumbs up down below. And I will see you guys tomorrow for day two. And I'll be cheering you on all the way. Good night.